of Lydia here and welcome back to a new flea market haul on my channel. So this is actually the first flea market haul in 2019 which is... I guess it's a pretty good start for uh, uh, for a year. Uh, especially since it is... I think I told you in my last uh, flea market haul video um, in, last, in the last year. Uh, yes, at the end of the last year that I don't really go to the flea market uh, during January and February because it's just really slow it's, uh, there's not a lot of people, not a lot of sellers uh, because it's cold and you know it's winter here in Romania and it's snowing always and uh, yeah so not a lot of people um, go to sell stuff or to buy stuff and usually uh, there's and nothing really new out at the flea market, so usually uh, the sellers bring uh, new stuff and you know spring comes and you know everything comes back to life. But uh, I went there last week. Uh, not sure when this video will be up, although but you know I went there last week uh, because my mom had uh, an errand to run there. Uh, she had to meet someone and. Uh, I went with her and as, as, I, as I say that if I'm there I might as well just you know look around and see if I can find anything and I did find and I, it was a pretty good catch. I didn't find a lot of stuff but I'm really happy with the stuff that I found. Uh, but first and foremost uh, there is one item that's not from the flea market. It's actually a gift, a Christmas gift from my uh, BFF, which I just received. We usually exchange our Christmas gifts uh, in January to avoid, you know, the um, to the, avoid the Christmas rush, you know, before Christmas. Uh, sorry, by the way, if the sun is kind of blinding you right now. Uh, it was pretty gloomy until now, and now the sun is starting to set, and for some odd reason, it just started shining now. Really, so <laughs> sorry about that. But as usual, you will be able to see the stuff I find uh, next to me on the pictures. So uh, yeah, the gift from my BFF. This is of course uh, she bought it, but it's second hand from someone. But it's in amazing condition, and it's a pair of absolutely adorable uh, little cherries, cherry plushies, and uh, these are of course from the Goodness Gang uh, uh, series. If you haven't saw my previous. Um, Free market haul videos, you know, I collect these uh, goodness gang uh, little uh, fruits and veggie uh, plushies, and I was missing the little cherries from my collection, and I think they are super duper adorable, and especially my BFF knows me well because cherries are my favorite fruit, and uh, I never thought that these, I never seen them in real life, of course. And I never thought that these were so small compared to the other fruits and veggies, so I think that's super adorable. And uh, even though they are second hand, they are just in really amazing condition, so I don't need to wash them. They don't smell or anything, so yeah, I'm really happy to own these little uh, cherry twins, and uh, they will be a good addition to my collection. So thanks to her, <laughs> uh, I was able to add more, uh, even though I'm still missing quite a few of them. And uh, I don't know, they are kind of hard to find at the same time too, so hoping that I will be able to find more uh, during this year, but we'll see. Now, on to the actual stuff that I found on the flea market. And they are all figurines. Uh, I actually bought these from uh, two sellers. So, like as I said before, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, variety <laughs> where you can buy. But, uh, yeah, so, first and foremost, I have found uh, some Pokemon figurines. And these are all from uh, last year's McDonald's collection. And I have actually found three of them. Uh, this is uh, Thunderous, if I'm correct. Uh, yes, Thunderous. And it's really interesting because... Oops, I just dropped one of them. Sorry. Uh, so, he's, you know, the, uh, usually the McDonald's uh, toys do something because they are meant for kids. <laughs> And since his name is Thunderous and he's like this um, stormy cloud uh, god, whatever, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not really familiar with this Pokemon yet. Um, 
he makes a sound that sounds kind of like thunder and lightning which is really interesting uh, I guess there's a little um, metal plate inside or something that's uh, like resonating and I think it's really cool so just listen you have to uh, smack the <laughs> the figure in to be able to hear it so just listen I don't know if you can hear that so I, I, I find that really really uh, simple yet really interesting so yeah it, it's, it's a really cool little um, like the not slow and really cool little idea and the other two uh, figurines are Latias and Latios and uh, I think this is my first uh, I can honestly never remember which one is which I think this one is Latios and this one is Latias but I may be wrong uh, this one is my first of the think Latios uh, of the blue one <laughs> and uh, both of these have some wheels on their bottom so you just have to push them around and they fly <laughs> but still they are pretty cute so yeah a um, few more of these by the way I just remembered I don't have it here with me actually when I bought these three Pokemon figurines the seller uh, gave me as gift uh, some other little uh, toys there was another one of these uh, Latias, I think, <laughs> um, but I gave it to my BFF, and there were also two more little like wind up toys a chicken and a, a frog. Uh, the frog was is not working, but the chicken is still working, so I gave that to the cat, and he he's really interested to see you know the little chicken hop. <laughs> and there was also a little um, plushy giraffe, which is from and you will be able to see the see the picture next to me. I don't have the plushie right here with me because it's in the bathroom because I want to wash it. Uh, it's kind of dirty, but uh, it's the from the little Beanie Boos uh, collection that was made by McDonald's. So they released uh, I think two years ago a collection of little Beanie Boos. Uh, and uh, I'm not like a big fan of Beanie Boos, I think they are super cute, but it's not something that I would be interested in collecting them. But since this was a gift, you know, I accepted it. And uh, now I'm kind of debating on if I should, uh, if I find the other ones from the collection, if I should grab those, or if I should pass, I don't know, I'm like, still not really like that interested in collecting them, but you know, since I'm kind of like a, a completist, if that's a word, I'm not sure if that's an actual word, but you know, I like my, that my collections to be complete as much as possible. So since I have already have this one, I would like to you know complete the whole collection. So uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Should I hunt down the other ones? Because I did saw the other ones previously. I just you know wasn't that interested. But now that I have the little giraffe. Um, I'm debating on getting the other ones, so yeah, leave a comment down below what do you think of that. And uh, moving on to the other figurines, which I bought uh, them from a, uh, another seller, and these weren't like super cheap compared to, you know, the usual free market prices, but they were at a really, really good price still, like nothing com compared to the insanely expensive ones <laughs> in the stores. And these figurines were all brand new in box which is a really really rare find on the flea market so uh, first and foremost uh, why do I keep saying that I don't know <laughs> so first I have actually found a TMNT figurine which is from uh, the 2012 version as I said before this was brand new in box I just unboxed the figurine because you know I'm I'm uh, I'm a, an unboxed unbox collector Again, I don't know if that's a uh, actual like word or actual <laughs> phrase. Um, you know, I unbox all of my stuff because I basically I barely have place to free space in my room to actually display everything without their boxes. Not to mention if I have kept all of the all of them in boxes, I would I would have absolutely no space to display everything. Plus, the box was kind of you know old, dusty. Um, in a really rough shape so I just unboxed her and threw away the box I don't really care for it but this is April O'Neil and she is super awesome 
she as and since she was new in box she has her uh, I have no idea why she came with a bow staff because that's not a lot uh, weapon but still and you know she's kind of articulated she has the five points articulation five points articulation with some little side movement as well but still she's my second april in my collection i only have the vintage version of her so that's really good wish i had the 2012 version donatello figurine because that would go so well with her you know i'm a, a donny april uh ship fan so um yeah and you can of course, of course remove this from her hand by the way i'm not really satisfied with the paint job because it's lacking paint job but the, the figurine is it's really, really well painted and of course she came with a bunch of other um, weapons as well they are all 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 on this um plastic rack thingy i'm not sure what to call it you have to uh, take them off i haven't bothered yet and as you can see it's all one color so um i still have to um take this off and eventually give them a paint job not sure when i will have time for that but uh, yeah, I, I will probably do a little bit more like a uh, lifelike paint job on them. Uh, but yeah, so you can see I still I kept the little cardboard insert from the box because this wasn't, you know, dirty and all of that. I want to keep this uh, little cardboard cut out. And uh, yeah, so I think that's that was a great find. And the other three new figurines, again, I took them out of the box and I had to wash them actually because you will be able to see the boxes next to me. They weren't like covered boxes, so they there was the cardboard uh, um, display uh, stand thing, and they were like wired uh, onto that, but there's no like plastic cover over them, so they were really dusty. So uh, again, I took them out of the box, threw away the boxes, and uh, I had to. Uh, actually washed wash the figurines but they are all okay now so these are all mythological figurines and they are from a company called Collecta I have never heard of them before but I checked their stuff and it's a really good uh, company they make really good quality uh, figurines although they are not really articulated so uh, yeah but they are great for display and uh, this is a uh, dryad, dryad, dryad. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it correctly. It's one of those little uh, wood creatures, and it's actually a she. And she's pretty scary, <laughs> but it looks really awesome. The paint job is really well done, so I'm really impressed. So yes, this one is uh, dryad, and this one is Zeus, the god of all gods. <laughs> and the uh, god of uh, thunder and lightning and uh, whatnot and you can actually move this hand but that's about it so that's as far the articulation goes and on the uh, dread as well you can only move this hand not sure why if they made the whole figure in like just one piece why this, did they decide to put you know um, some arti plus articulation here but uh, I don't know and the last figurine is Athena, the goddess of war, and she also came with the, her uh, weapon, I'm not sure what this weapon called, but, and of course her shield, but the shield is actually molded on, and you can again move this hand, and that's about it. Her face is a little bit derpy, but uh, otherwise the figurine is correct, is uh, colored really, really um, well, and really like lifelike and I don't know I just really like the paint job on these and I don't really see any mistakes either so that's a good point and uh, yeah so that's about it actually what I found on the flea market not sure when I will go next uh, I don't think that's really uh, there's really um, any point in going until uh, spring comes so uh, I will probably skip the next month as well and uh, I don't know, we'll see when I will be able to go next and what will I find. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap up now because it's starting to get 
darker and you won't be able to see me and there's nothing else to show to you guys so yeah uh, leave a comment down below what do you think of all the stuff that I found uh, do you know anything about these collector figures or do you collect them maybe uh, and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more flea market haul videos and other kind of toy and door reviews thank you so much for watching bye